Hello there, Ticket Subs viewers. I just saw the film Glass. This film is the third film in the M. Night Shyamalan directed, super powered individual cinematic universe. I'm sure there's an official name that I'm just forgetting. But, anyways, Glass, this is the. It is just almost surreal watching this film. You know, Alex and I, we watched Unbreakable in uh, the summer of 2015 after having various people recommend it to us, and we really enjoyed it. And you know, it split uh, when that film released, we didn't unfortunately get, go see that one at theaters. We should have. Uh, I know we think it was getting really good reviews, and we heard about kind of the, you know, um, what that film was, uh, what it kind of implied at the end, and that kind of was just like what. And then you go see this film, and you're seeing you know, Bruce Willis as David Dunn. You're seeing, you know, Samuel Jackson as Mr. Glass. You see these characters back, and you're just like, it is almost like. Unbreakable was one of those films, like, you know, I mean, we really kind of just got into it in the summer of 2015, but, you know, just researching, that's one of those films that, you know, people have been wanting a kind of concluding sequel to for some time, and it's one of those films that almost is like, and this is one of those films that will never get an official sequel, it just, it's been so long, but you know what, it did, and it's here, and it's just so cool seeing this film exist, I thought it did a really good job kind of combining uh, what we saw in Split as well as what we saw in Breakable. It's a nice mix of the two. And, you know, this film ties the stories of both those films in. In regards to positives of the film, the fight scenes in this film I think are really well done. You know, each hit just has so much weight to it. There aren't a ton of action sequences, so if you really are expecting that, something like that, you might be disappointed. But there are a few, and the hits are really well done. You feel kind of each, you just, you really get a sense of how strong these uh, individuals are in these fight scenes. I thought, they did, uh, I thought they did a great job with that. James McAvoy in this movie is definitely, I think, the um, acting standout. He, um, in the original, um, I don't say original, in uh, Split, his, in his original film, I, I could be misremembering, but he definitely, I, I think he's he doesn't kind of go in and out of his different identities that fast. I think he's in them for at least a couple minutes each. In this one, he does a lot more kind of back and forth, and um, he definitely gets in each identity very well, and... You know, he just gives, he's definitely the acting standout in this movie. You know, kind of, something really interesting about this film too, a good, a good portion of it is a character study. You learn about these individuals, you, you know, Sarah Paulson, she is the, um, she's the doctor assigned to them, so she kind of talks to them. So I don't want to spoil too much, but you definitely get a sense of uh, who these different characters are. Now, in terms of things that could be improved... Something that I, I really enjoyed about Unbreakable was it did, it was kind of that, you know, what if superheroes were in the real world? How would it be? And I thought they did a great job. There was the perfect amount in that movie of kind of comic book references. You know, there wasn't too many. And it kind of, you know, it was a little, I mean, it wasn't exactly subtle, but it wasn't too on the nose. And this one, the comic book references are was a little bit much sometimes. I could, I could be misremembering Unbreakable, but I do... I did. I don't remember the comic book references being as kind of on the nose. I mean, like, and the, in Glass, there, it's kind of a little bit corny sometimes. So I think that could have been mixed in a little bit too. And kind of going back to the real world aspect, Unbreakable and Split. I thought they both felt very um, grounded in some aspects as much as they could be at least. And but this one kind of it kind of just. It, it world builds a little bit, and I, I, and I don't know, I still don't know how I feel about it that much, but it definitely, I think it could have been a little bit more, uh, a little bit cleaner. Something I will say too, um, I think this movie does, it does conclude kind of what we've seen in the last two films, but it also does a good job of kind of keeping it open a little bit, and I think that's, you know, that's as, as satisfying ending as, you know, any film could have, and at least in, in this kind of a trilogy, I'm not sure if they'll make more, but you know, I think that's, you know, that's what uh, that's all you can ask for with something like this. And, you know, I think Glass, I, uh, I saw the reviews. They weren't as strong as I had hoped. But, I mean, there's definitely a lot of good in this movie. And it is just really cool seeing these characters uh, that we saw, you know, 18 or 19 years ago back on the, uh, well, I, I, w I wish I would have saw it earlier. Not in summer 2015. But it's definitely cool, you know, seeing these characters from that film back. And it's so cool that Split tied into it. So if you're, if you're a fan of either of those films, definitely I think you should check this one out. Could have been stronger in some aspects, but definitely I think it's it's definitely enjoyable. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. Thank you, everybody.